Hello LinkedIn family, Jonathan here from Potency.World, supported by some talented people. Another one of my wild investigations into all manner of subjects from all manner of minds. We've got a great group of individuals here today. I think we'll start with the lady. Chris, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Chris Merrick, I guess Simply Be Wellbeing. And do you know that 90% of the thoughts that you have every day will be exactly the same as the thoughts you had the day before? And of those 90%, 80% will be negative. That can cause you stress, overwhelm, anxiety, or just maybe a feeling of being lost. I'm a life coach and I work with women to help them identify challenge and change the 80% that aren't working for them so that the 90% can help them live the empowered, confident life they want. So if you're a woman and that reconciliates with you, please get in touch and let's see if we can work together. Fantastic. Bob, over to you. Hi, I'm Bob Stamegna. I'm a health coach and a personal trainer. Uh, I work with people who have type 2 diabetes, specifically with them, or we want to look into weight management, uh, but also anyone who wants to kind of start to really take charge of their life and their health. Uh, so please contact me if you're interested. Fantastic. CR. Uh, good day. I'm looking at dealing with uh, any and all veterans that have mental health issues, mind health. Uh, one way we connect with them is through board gaming and uh, social interactions like game days, potluck meals, coffee days. We hope to, vet, vet, uh, hope to help veterans who have PTSD, past connection issues, and any other issues such as schizophrenia or paranoia. We want to want to help you connect uh, back into society. Excellent. Cool. Hello, I'm Carl Les and I'm working with thewellnessrabbit.com. Uh, it's the world's first mental wellness gym and we are um, providing training for any persons or entrepreneurs who are actually wanting to use their head for the work. Uh, I know quite well that you can get stressed or burned out. However, if you train your mind while you are well, you can stay well. And so that's the purpose of a mental wellness revolution that we are leading. And if you want to stay well, look up wellnessorbit.com. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so given that they're doing short episodes, I thought that probably the best thing to do would be to throw a big stick to jam the spokes to get us going. Um, and I think the best way I can think of is to ask you, Chris, what your definition of emotional health is. Um, so I would say it's the ability to regulate how you're feeling and then choosing how you're going to respond as you show up in the world. So a lot of us become trapped by our emotions and take them as gospel rather than using them as the indicators that they are for us to investigate our thinking. So I think when we're emotion emotionally well, we can use those assigned posts, recognize what they're trying to get us to look at, and then work through our limiting beliefs, our thoughts around the areas that they're bringing up. Um, and in that way, you can then choose how you want to take that issue further, what you want to do to resolve it, whether you need professional help, whether you can do it yourself. And that will then help you to make good decisions as you move on through the world, build your relationships, and, and generally be able to be resilient and deal with the things that life chucks at you, which, you know, sometimes is what puts us under pressure. That is almost to the word the definition of of Google. That um, <laughs> uh, yeah, really, really amazing. Uh, and <laughs> I was just. Wondering, I reckon so, Google pinched my definition and just uh, put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Pua, give us your perspective. Well, I have a little bit different perspective, and it, it actually comes down to a very simple thing. Well, if you are mentally well and if you have a good mind health then you are able to keep inner silence that means a state where you don't think and where you don't use any emotions which means total inner calmness so that's the ideal state of uh, inner well-being however we also need to use thinking thinking is a tool for writing whatever you want to write for communicating with whomever you want to communicate with and also emotions are our tools we can use good emotions, which actually brings a lot of benefits. We can sometimes use angry emotions if we want to get something really done if good emotions don't work. But usually negative emotions are not worth using for. Well, 
occur. Given what Chris has just said about repeating 80% of the things, 90% of the things.